how the Buck missile system may have brought down MH17. The US government believes the Malaysia Airlines flight downed over Ukraine was probably hit by accident by a missile fired by pro-Russia separatists. The missile was most likely fired from a Soviet air defense system called the SA-17. At the heart of the SA-17 system is its launch vehicle, called Buk by the Russians, it carries and fires up to four missiles at a time. Missiles like the 9M317. With advanced guidance systems, solid rocket propellant, and shrapnel cluster warheads, it is usually used to defend against incoming missiles and fighter planes. The launcher vehicle is just one part of the system. A command post vehicle and a mobile radar vehicle are also part of the missile battery group. The mobile radar system acquires targets as far as 200 kilometers away and 21 kilometers high. Once the system has it locked, an operator fires the missile. The projectile travels at over four times the speed of sound to its target. For most of its journey, the mobile radar is tracking the missile and computers in the mobile command post correct its position. The 9M317 usually carries a warhead set to detonate around 50 meters from its target, exploding into a cloud of shrapnel. One scenario is that the shrapnel carved holes into the fuselage of flight MH17, rapidly depressurizing the plane, depriving the crew and passengers of oxygen, and knocking them unconscious. This is in addition to the damage the projectiles themselves would cause. Without a crew to fly it, and the flight service is compromised, the aircraft descends at a rapid pace. The airframe reaches its breaking point and comes apart in the descent, ultimately coming to rest in a field just 55 kilometers from the Russian border, leaving a 15 square kilometer field of debris in its wake. Investigators will be poring over the crash site for weeks to come, looking for clues as to which side of the Ukraine-Russia conflict brought down MH17.